Well, for us uh, defensively, that was the tale of two halves. I, 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 I was really disappointed in our defense the first half, and I couldn't have been more pleased in the second half with what we did. So I'm um, really happy for our group to um, just uh, battle through it. And, um, you know, we have some players obviously playing in different roles right now. And um, uh, I thought Eliza Moppin was absolutely huge for us tonight, um, made huge plays all the way around. and. Happy for that kid. She's um, put in the work the last couple of weeks and really improved and uh, is really starting to pick up on some things that we need her to do. So great win for us. Um, thought both teams were pretty fatigued at the end, exerted a lot of energy. And, um, you know, quick turnaround for both of us coming off of Saturday. And, um, but but uh, couldn't be more proud of our group for uh, hanging in there and giving us an opportunity to, uh, to, to have a chance at the end. Jeff, just talk about the game ending, the block at the end, and just your team obviously, like you said, without a couple players and just coming up big in this game. Yeah, you know, I've been really uh, – this group has played for the most part every possession, you know, and uh, their DNA has been a lot of hard work all the way back to June. So it doesn't surprise me that we hung in there, but we got tested tonight in terms of our – you know, we, we were – we were frustrated. Uh, Baylor did a great job in the first half. They frustrated us. and uh, um, But I did feel fortunate to be only down nine at half. And uh, I just thought we got uh, more confident as the game went on. I thought we got uh, stronger as the game went on and um, you know, just found a way. You mentioned the, you know, the tale of two halves. What, I guess, changed? What adjustments did you make and what did Baylor maybe not do or, yeah? Well, we were having a lot of trouble guarding them in man-to-man, -man, and, and we weren't committed to our ball screen coverage, and they were getting downhill. They shot so many free throws in the early part of this game. We went zone. Uh, we went to the 1-2-2. Two, two. I thought that got them standing around a little bit, and, and uh, I thought our, we, we haven't played that much this year. So um, we had some interesting rotations. Probably confused Baylor, confused me a couple times, um, but uh, it seemed to work out for us. And uh, mainly, what I thought our players were better at was just we guarded the drivers the way we came into the game, wanting to guard them, and we got out on their shooters the way we talked about. And we weren't doing that in our man-to-man. -man. What were you telling your team when they had? two chances there late, you know, one with 26 seconds and one with a couple seconds to kind of tie it with a game winning or game tying shot. Yeah, well, a couple things. Um, we, in that scenario, had decided to foul them. We had fouls to give. We decided to foul them if they had their back to the basket or if they were dribbling. Um, so that was the first foul. Um, we were not going to foul a catch and shoot player, which really ended up we made a smart play there because obviously I think they thought we might be fouling right away and went ahead and heaved one up. Now with two and a half, I didn't want to foul. Um, I, did, I didn't want to foul at that point. Uh, everything was going to be in and around the arc. I just wanted to live with the result. And I thought our group did a good job of forcing the throw inside the arc. And, um, you know, we've got good link to us. So if we can, um, if we're in front of somebody, um, we We've defended that play pretty well. Coach, what does a win like this do for your team going forward? Obviously, with Baylor, um, pretty pretty key win you got there. Yeah. Well, it's hard to say. I think for for our group, it gives us a lot of confidence. Obviously, we're playing right now without an All American. You know, we're playing without our anchor, and and uh, we're finding a different way. But uh, you know, the more uh, I thought we got a hard fought win against our rival on Saturday. Short turnaround for this one. Um, and um, both of us had hard fought games on Saturday, so they expended a lot of energy as well. Like I said, I thought both teams were fatigued. But what it does for us is I think it gives this group, uh, you know, that we can win a different way. And um, when we stick to the game plan, we'll give ourselves a better opportunity. Anything else, Coach? Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys.